What's good out there everybody? My name's Roll Easy. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I have a version, a, I should say a second version of the solo money glitch I posted yesterday. Now this is a different method for those of you that don't have an MOC or don't have the Lester Heist text, okay? So this is another option, but it comes with its, with its other requirements and its, and its downsides, but I did want everybody to have a second option just in case you didn't have those first video's requirements. So if you want to go check back to that first video, I did that glitch on Xbox. That one will be down in the description in the pinned comment. This one I'm doing on PS4, but I'm showing both methods, the Xbox targeting mode and the PS4 recent activity. You'll see both methods in this video. So what you're going to need in this one, and by the way, shout out to Tuta Facile France, he's the founder. And what you're going to need for this, go into an invite only session and then go into free aim. All right, because you know most people are in assisted aim, so just go into free aim. Then on PS4, you need a recent activity that that says start DTA online, and you need a front end another targeting mode as well as Xbox. You need a front end another targeting mode. So both consoles actually need another targeting mode person. Okay, join a community if you have to. Add people in random sessions till they add you back. That's the best way to do it. I used to do that when I didn't have friends. All right, guys, it's not that difficult. Now. Full facility of RHH, as you can see right here, I have two RHH just for the video. Full facility of RHH, a full CEO garage with the retro custom in there or whatever Benny's vehicle you want to duplicate in there. And you need custom plates for this glitch, guys. You must have custom plates on that retro you're duping and you need the CEO mod shop, okay? So what you saw me just do right here is, I grabbed, remember I said a full facility of RHH, just grab one of those RHH, drive it outside, and then run back into the facility on foot. That's how you set up to do the glitch, okay? So, at this point, we're going to go into the Avenger, and we're actually going to do the, the uh, you know, getting glitched out in the Avenger part. Oh, and I forgot to mention, yeah, you need an Avenger as well. Sorry, that's a big one. <laughs> that's kind of like the whole way we're getting glitched out. But yeah, so you need an Avenger just like on the last method, okay? So we're actually going to do the recent activity version first, and then I'm going to do the targeting mode version next. So I'm going to run through the glitch twice in this video, okay? So go to this back door where it says enter cockpit. Now, PlayStation or Xbox, remember, get a friend in a different targeting mode ready. You spam on join game, and then you enter cockpit, and you accept the first alert, decline the second. Uh, PlayStation, what you can do is actually just use a recent activity for this one. It's probably the easiest way to do it is a recent activity. It's super simple, man. Uh, so yeah. So I got this one, this is a bounty, and this one will say start GTA Online. I had a few people asking me how to do this yesterday, so I wanted to show you guys, you know? So start GTA Online, double tap the PS button. Now once you're back here, hit enter cockpit, double tap the PS button, start GTA Online, and deny that alert. Boom. Okay? You should get a glitched out screen like that, and then spawn in the middle of the facility. That's how you do this on PlayStation with a recent activity, guys. So at this point in the last video, this is where we would have done the Lester text, you know, and gone to that apartment. You don't have to do that. What we're using is actually all those blue job markers. The way to activate those is open up your interaction menu, go to hide options, and you see when you click on any one of those categories, you want to put everything to show, all right? Not hide, you want it to be on show. And that's how you'll get all those blue markers out, you know, out on your map. Now, once you've done that, find a blue marker close to your CEO garage. I have a race right here next to mine. Now you're gonna press square on PlayStation or X on Xbox, okay? To start that race up or whatever job it is. Now. Once you've done that, go ahead and go to the second setting screen. You'll be right here. This is where both consoles need a friend in another targeting mode. This is how we're actually teleporting out of the facility and over to like different areas. So I know that I have a few friends here that are in a different targeting mode than I am. So I'm going to go ahead and just join one of them. Okay. So we're just going to wait for this to load up. Once this is loaded up, here we go. All right. My friend lost. I know that he's in a different targeting mode than me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit join session on him or join game. And once I've done that, wait for the alerts, accept the first alert, decline the second. You're going to see that at the top left, there was a network error joining session. And then you're going to have a super glitched out screen and you're going to spawn where that job marker was. And that's how we're teleporting without the Lester Heist text. Once you're at this point, grab a, grab a street car, a street car that you can drive into your garage. Okay. Once you've done that, drive it into your full CEO garage. Remember full. Mine is Office Garage 3, accept that alert, and look, you're gonna be glitched out right here. Just wait, okay, don't touch anything, just wait. Now all of a sudden, boom, it's just gonna like unglitch itself there, you're gonna be looking at the office, and then you're gonna spawn in on foot as normal, okay? There we go. So as you can see that, my, my cyclone over there was super glitched out and everything, but we're good, we're good. So remember, I said you want this to be full and you want it to have the retro or whatever Benny's vehicle that you're duping in there with a custom plate. So you see, I have a glitching plate on there, all right? And 
you're going to see right here, all you got to do is press right D-pad to go into the mod shop. And then once you've done that, you want to modify something on the vehicle. It doesn't really matter what you modify. Cheapest things are the plates, plate holders, you know, plate colors, things like that. So I'm just going to actually change the plate. I'm going to put a different custom plate on it. And that's that's probably the safest thing you can do is put a different custom plate on it. And you see how it says exit to office garage zero. That's how you know the glitch worked. That is the indication that tells you before you even drive this out that the glitch was successful. Okay. If you get exit to office garage zero, you are good to go. I didn't realize that at first, so I was just kind of sitting here looking at it, but trust me, that is your indication. And the, way, the reason I know that is because the first time I went to go do this, I actually, you know, or the second time I went to go do it, it didn't say that and it didn't work. And I'm gonna show you a clip of that here in a, here in a, you know, a minute or so. But once you've done that, just exit back to office garage zero, as it says there, and then you can go ahead and I don't know if you noticed that, but there was a car icon right outside of my CEO garage. That was actually the duplicate. The duplicate will be waiting for you outside the CEO garage. So that's how you can go ahead and see if it actually worked. Now, I recommend sending your spawn locations to, to the facility and actually just going to creator and going into a new invite only session after you create each dupe. I think it does work a lot more consistently. I decided to actually just teleport myself over to the facility and this is where I actually failed the glitch, uh, you know, the second time around. So I'm just gonna fast forward right here for you guys so that you're not bored, you know, to death. But I'm just gonna show you right here that the glitch did indeed work. So I'm gonna run into my facility right now and you're gonna see me in my facility that I'm gonna go to the vehicle selection menu and I'm gonna show you that although the retro isn't there right now, the slot actually says retro. You see, it would be over there where the RH8 was. So I'm going to go to the vehicle selection menu right here and check it out. Press right D-pad and look, see, LG Retro Custom, right where the RH8 was before. So it's just outside right now. But anyways, here is what happened when I went to go do the glitch back to back right there. Once I got to this part right here, I decided, you know what? Let me not change the plate itself. Let me just change like the color of the plate and see what happens. So once I did that, I actually checked and check it out. So change the color of the plate right here i think i just changed it to that yep and now when i went to go exit look at this exit to office garage three if it says that the glitch didn't work all right something wasn't properly done or you know it just it just didn't work it might not be your fault so that's why i recommend just having your spawn location set the, to the facility and going into a new invite only session each dupe that'll probably be your safest way to actually get it to work every time so Remember, once you spawn into the new session, or if you want to take the risk and go ahead and try it in the same session, remember the setup you need to do is pull out another RH8 from your facility and just have it outside and go back in the facility on foot. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do the targeting mode one. And this is obviously the method that Xbox needs to use and just another option for PlayStation if you want to use it this way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and run over here to the, or, you know, to the cockpit doors. And once we've done that, we're ready to go. So remember, I need to hit enter cockpit and then I need to activate the uh, the targeting mode. So here we go. Well, actually I'm first gonna do, I'm first gonna join my friend and then hit enter cockpit, okay? And then accept the first alert, decline the second. Okay, you guys ready? So alerts coming in. I'm gonna, you know, here we go. Accept the first alert, decline the second. Now I wasn't sure if it worked right there. So what I ended up doing was, I actually was like, you know what, let me just, you know, check to see if this worked properly or not. I wasn't too sure. And check that out. You see that? I actually was properly glitched out, okay? I didn't realize it, but I actually was glitched out. It was just, you know, I don't trust it unless I see me frozen behind that cockpit door, okay? So I definitely recommend checking for that every time. So once again, I'm going to have the enter cockpit option. I'm going to go ahead and join a friend, wait for the, the details to come in. And right before the, the first alert comes in, I'm going to enter cockpit, accept the first alert, decline the second. All right, you end up glitched out. I'm just fast forwarding through all this. You guys know what the deal is. Once you teleport over there, grab a streetcar, go into office garage three. Once you've done that, you'll be on the glitched out screen right here. Then you want to go ahead and just wait. Okay, just sit there and wait. All right, you're going to spawn on foot. A little bit still glitched out but inside the ceo office look at that i just got an objective fall and survive somehow all right i guess the, the game glitches out and thinks you're up in the air or something like that it's pretty crazy but yeah so i'm gonna hop into the retro right here once i've hopped into the retro remember press right d-pad to go into the mod shop okay so right d-pad to go into the mod shop and this is where i prove to you guys that you need custom plates all right you will make dirty dupes if you don't have a custom plate on your car originally even on like fresh merge glitches i always pretty much use a custom plate all right that's just a habit of mine so 
Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm only going to change the color, okay? Because I really wanted to see. So I still have my glitching plate on there. And I'll, oh yeah, I'm going to change the, the plate mount too, just in case, all right? So I just modified two things. But you see that? Exit to Office Garage 0. That is your indication that the glitch worked perfectly fine, okay? That means everything got glitched out normally and you're good to go. So once you exit to Office Garage 0, you should be good. This is the original. It stays in here. And then if you actually check on your map, you should see right outside you have a personal vehicle icon. That is indeed your duplicated retro or Benny's vehicle, whatever you're duping. And check out the plate. So I'm going to hop into it and look at the plate it has on it. See? Still has the glitching plate. So that shows you it's a carbon copy glitch. All right, so you need custom plates for this one. If you don't have a custom plate, you're going to make a bunch of dirty dupes. And don't don't sell those, trust me. Do not sell those unless you want to be dupe detected, okay? But uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. I want everybody to take advantage of these glitches and these methods while we have them. It's Sunday, so you never know what Rockstar is going to do Monday and Tuesday. I'm sure this one will be patched pretty quickly because it's super easy. But uh, yeah, if you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Peace out, guys.